Hey guys, it's me. Penny's actually hanging out in bed with me. Um, I wanted to apologize. I know that the sound quality on my videos has been kind of coming in and out, and I apologize. My phone is acting up. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, I, I'm going to go ahead and do my CVS Black Friday transaction video to just show you guys what I'm going to be picking up at CVS the few days before Black Friday. I'm going to do a separate video about the actual Black Friday deals. There aren't a ton, but there are a few freebies. Um, yeah, some things that you can roll your extra care bucks into. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get started. I'm on my blog, which is couponfairy.blogspot.com if you haven't been there. Whoa, hi, Lexi. You're so dark, you blend in. <laughs> You like the website? She's jealous. Her picture's not on there. <laughs> All right. So it's going to be kind of difficult to see, and I'm just going to try to go through this really quickly because a lot of it I just copy and pasted straight from my plan video. However, I did take out the things that I don't really need, and I tried to get as close to $50 as I could for both of my transactions. So for Black Friday, I'm going to be doing two separate transactions as long as you know the store has everything in stock and there aren't any problems, but I'm sure there will be. So you kind of have to have a backup plan and be a little flexible because the store isn't always going to have every single item. And yeah, you just need to be prepared for that. So <laughs> if everything was perfect in a perfect world, this is what it would look like. I am planning on doing these two transactions because I have two $10 off of $50 coupons that printed at the end of my receipt. I had a lot of questions asking how you get those. I have no idea. One time I bought a bag of chips and it printed. The other time I bought a ton of stuff and one printed. So it really just depends. I'm not sure. I don't think there's any magical thing to purchase that makes those print. But I do have two of them and they aren't going to expire until like the 20 something so um, of November. So I'm definitely going to be using them. So what I plan to is two separate transactions pretty close to $50 so that I will get back or so that I can use these basically and save an additional $10. So let me go ahead and just kind of quickly whiz through what I'm going to be picking up. I'm not going to go through all the details. I've already done that and you can refer to the blog if you have any questions. But the first transaction I'm going to pick up the South Beach Diet Bars, the Pure Absorb, the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, the Scooby-Doo Snacks, the Command Hook, the Starbucks Refresher, the Double Shot, Espresso, Powerade, Easy Feet, Play-Doh, Hot Wheels, Phillips Remote, Advil, and the Thermacare. So those are all of the items that I'm going to purchase in my first transaction. The out-of-pocket for all of these items before I hand any coupons is going to be $50.91. So pretty close to that $50 mark. I'm going to use my 10 off of 50, which will bring my new total to $40.91. I have a total of $5 in coupons. If you go back through, uh, you'll see which items have the coupons. So that's going to take off five more dollars, which will bring my new total after coupons to $35.91. And I'm going to get back $50.91 in extra care bucks for all of the different items. It's not going to come out as one extra care buck worth that, but it'll be several. The receipt will probably be very long. It'll have all of the different ones that are listed above as well. So essentially, it is a $15 money-making transaction which is great. So it would just be $5, but because of that 10 off of 50, it's going to bump it up to a $15 money-making transaction. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to have all of these extra care bucks to roll into transaction two. Now my out-of-pocket, like I said, was $35.91, and I do have about $60 or so in extra care bucks currently that I'm hanging on to. So I'll be able to use them for all of the out-of-pocket costs and I'll only need to pay tax. So it's going to be a really great morning at CVS. Even if I can't find every single item, I'll be able to work out some really great transactions. So anyway, that's transaction one. Transaction numero dos, I'm going to plan to use another 10 off of 50. I'm going to get the Advil, the children's one, which I 
did note that there is a dollar off coupon. I didn't have that earlier, so that will be a money maker there. The Somnipure, the Sepical, the Street King Energy Shot, the Nasalies, even though I have like six boxes and I've never used it, <laughs> it'll help get to the $50. The Carmex, the Glade Plugin, which also has a dollar off coupon. It's on coupons.com. Sorry that I didn't have that in my first video. The Collagen product, the Airwick, this one also has a $2 off of two coupons, so if you get two of them, you can use this coupon. You sign up on their website, which I did, and it wouldn't let me print it, but I think my computer was just kind of acting up, so that will end up being a money maker. The Charmin Single Roll, another one. There's a 25% cent off coupon in the P&G. I totally overlooked that because I thought there would be a size restriction on that coupon, but there's not. So another thing that I missed there, the Get the Look Makeup Set, the Rate Guard Deodorant, the Playtex Tampons, the Coke, the Nips, and the Kleenex. So I'm going to purchase all of those items in transaction number two. So my out of pocket before coupons is going to be $54.88, so a little bit over the $50, but that's okay. Like I said, I might not be able to find everything anyway. Um, then I'm going to use the 10 off of 50 so my new total will be $44.88. I have $7.55 in coupons, so my total after all the coupons are handed to the cashier will be $37.33. And then I'm going to get back $46.93 in extra care bucks, making this a $9.60 money-making transaction. So not quite as sweet as the first, but still really good. I can't complain one little bit. So my math might be a little off and it's just going to depend on the coupons that you have and what you need. Obviously there are lots of different products that I listed on my plan video that I'm not going to be purchasing. Um, I just kind of focused on the things that I actually would want or need. But if there is a gap that I need to fill, I'll definitely throw those in if you know some of these items are all sold out or out of stock or you know whatever. <laughs> it's not going to work out perfectly. I already am prepared for that. but. As long as I can work out two transactions to use those two 10 off of 50s, then I will be a happy girl. So yeah, guys, it's looking like CVS is the hot drugstore for Black Friday, at least in my opinion. I know a lot of the items have a limit of one, but if you do have the 10 off of 50s, it's a really great way to not only get a ton of free products, but to also make a little bit of money. So yeah, it'll be really fun. I asked my mom if I could borrow her card, so I'm going to have my husband do her shopping for her, so that'll be fun. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know below. I know a lot of you don't have as many extra care bucks coming in, and I know a lot of you don't have the 10 off of 50s, so you can obviously do as many transactions as your store will allow or as you need to. You can keep rolling your extra care bucks and, you know, spending as little out of pocket as you'd like, basically. But this is what I'm going to be doing. So yeah, like I said, uh, questions below and thanks again for watching.